Hi everyone, you are welcome back to C Concept. I want to say thank you for joining me in today's tutorial and I hope you all are good. Thank you for stopping by. Today, I shall be showing you how to make this trendy ruffle or circular sleeve without crinoline. And if you are there, you like making one for yourself that you could not afford it due to the cost of a bridal satin or crinoline, you are in the right place. Do sit back and wash to the hand. And the materials I'll be working with are this a plain satin material. All together here, I have two meters. Then uh, this a uh, hard stay or paper stay and my pin to hold it down, my scissors. And at the end, I shall be attaching it to this uh, blouse. This is just for an illustration. And if you're wondering how to achieve your posterior blouse, I made a video on how to draft it. Kindly watch it. You will understand it better. And uh, I'll be dropping a video where I made it on my fabric soon. Do watch out. Thank you. I will go ahead now and place my art stay or interfacing on fold and when you are folding it make sure the shiny surface is folded in okay like this then i will take it again like this after folding it on the opening part you should have a four pieces like this so from the folded edge i'll be taking it in five and a half inches I want the total length to be five inches after making it so i'll be turning it in with half an inch okay for sleeve like this the maximum you could go is six inches okay then i'll go ahead and uh, place it five and a half Then after marking it, you should have something like this. I'll go ahead and cut it. After cutting it, this is going to look, you have a full circle. I've also cut out the fabric. So for the circle now, I want my circle to be eight circles. Okay. So for the fabric, I'll be cutting out 16. Remember? We are going to cover both front and the back of the circle. So two fabric for one circle. Okay, that makes it a two times eight, making a sixteen. So for this fabric, I'll be cutting out sixteen. Why for this, I'll be cutting out eight. Okay, then having done that, I will now take the fabric. I will place the wrong side, the non-shiny part. I will place it on the shiny part of the hard stay like this and when you are doing this make sure you don't leave any creeps okay then i'll go ahead take it to my hyony corner and uh, flatten it down okay that is i will stick it to the hard stay so this is how it's going to look okay so to avoid creeps, I will advise you to iron the fabric itself, okay? You iron it first, okay? With that, you'll be able to have a beautiful look like this without leaving creeps or fold when placing it on the hard stay, okay? So the next thing now is I'll go ahead and take the other piece of the circle, which is this uh, fabric, I will place it, the shiny bit, right side of it, facing the right side of this uh, circle, okay? Not here. You place it on this part, right side facing each other like this. Then I will secure it with my so pin. After securing it with pin, I will now go ahead and stitch it. But I will be taking you guys along. So I'll be taking it half an inch. I'll take it round 
half an inch so till i get to where i started then i will leave an opening about four inches okay about four inches okay that opening will be for turning it inside out Go ahead and cut off the excess part. Then go ahead and notch it. And while doing this, be careful not to notch through the seam line. Also notch the opening part as well because that will help you to fold it in properly. And I'll go ahead and turn it inside out. After I turn it inside out, this is how it's going to look. Then I'll go ahead now and uh, flatten it down with my iron. So for this opening part, I will fold it in. So I've stitched the opening up. This is how it's going to look now. So, same thing I did on the other circle. This is it. All together now, I have it. Eight circles. So, the next thing is to go ahead and attach it to our So I place my blouse on my table. Like I said, this is for an illustration, okay? The part where you stick the lining to, to the hard stay, you fold it in like this. And then the part where you place the other lining, Will be out like this so you fold it in again okay so you have something like this you now go ahead and uh, place it not like this like this place it and then uh, tuck it so on this part, the only thing I would advise you to do is to use your needle and thread for this part, okay? You can as well use your machine, but I would advise you to use your needle and thread. So this is going to be, okay? I'll take other piece, so I'll repeat same on the other circle until like cover the whole sleeve okay so i will do more tuck everything together like this until you cover up the whole thing so just do one so you hold it like this you take one on one side you hold it you tuck it 
with your needle and thread. So you repeat same on everything. You fold it. This is how it's going to look, but I will still go ahead, place it on a mannequin and finish it up. So you hold every edge together just to cover up all the see-through parts, okay? You hold it. Isn't that beautiful? You hold it together. You see? I'll go ahead and place it on my mannequin now so guys i want to say thank you for watching to the end i believe this video has been helpful and if you find it helpful don't forget to give me a thumbs up share it like it and then don't forget to subscribe okay i want to hear from you in the comment section i will see you in my next video bye